For me personally, one take music videos are some of the most creative music videos you can actually shoot. They require a lot of thought and are often quite hard to execute. And that intrigues me the most about them. And having done a few myself, I thought I would relay three things to remember when you're shooting one take music videos. Have a different start and end frame. Through the video, you wanna start in a particular location and end in another. Or you can do a full loop. You can start in the same place and end in the same place. I think having one of those two things makes the full loop of the one take really, really nicely. And when I'm talking about one take music videos, I am talking about the simple kind. I'm not talking about transitions and, and the big budget stuff. I'm, I'm just talking about you and a subject just doing a one take. You can either get creative and start with like a low angle shot looking up at the subject and then you follow them to a particular location or a certain part of that location and you can end it with either going through the video and ending up and doing the same camera movement backwards to start how you ended so it is a full loop. Changing angles and shot types. You essentially want to change the scene without cutting. Move around your subject, go closer, go further away. Think of these different shot types that you would normally do in a music video but blend them in with movements around the subject or in front of him. How can you get from a close-up to a wide obviously without cutting because it's a one take. And you wanna try and do this every five or 10 seconds because then the audience always has something new to look at. Rely on imperfections and have fun with it. Play with the lens flare if the sun's out and play with that focus. Kind of do that like searching focus effect because then it always, again, you, the whole point of this is you want the audience to stay engaged. So if you're playing with the focus, you're always making the audience find what you're looking for. And especially if you have a low aperture, it's, it gives a really nice effect because the focus point is so tiny. You can actually do it on their mouth and then their eyes. And then if you're, they're playing an instrument, you can go to the hand and then, but this requires you moving around the subject. Start with their hand playing the guitar and then you go up to see what chord they're playing with that other hand. And that way you've just you've just crossed off like 10, 15 seconds of that whole movement and it's still it's still being a one take. And you, you really need to keep that in mind. How can I keep the audience engaged through this video? Because normally with cuts, that's how that's how people are then engaged is because they, they're going with the cuts and it normally goes on beat. But when you one take, you don't have that luxury. And something I think is really important to remember anyway is sometimes imperfections are perfect. Like if you're doing a shot and a bird goes across the flame, obviously that isn't planned. Or if a plane is in the background, that isn't planned. Like for example, on the Harvey music video, there's, there's a plane in the background on the take we use. And it just looks awesome. It's an added effect to the video. But we didn't plan that. We didn't call aviation and go, yeah, make sure a plan. Do you know what I mean? Things don't always go to plan. Again, with the lens flare, that's not always planned unless you are doing it to the T. But sometimes it just comes out. Sometimes you're just hitting that sun at the right angle. So there is a nice flare that comes across the screen. Again, the, the main takeaway from doing one takes is how can I keep the audience engaged? Because they could get bored because it is just one shot and you don't have that luxury of line on cut. So you need to do it yourself with, with moving around and changing shot angles all the time. But that was just some of my tips on how to shoot a one take music video. If you have any yourself, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, I would be very interested to hear if uh, anyone else has any tips for, for people who want to shoot one take music videos. But uh, that is all from me and I will see you soon.